So this is a, a four-year-old Serafina, four-year-old mare, and she's uh, owned and bred by Clock Tower Farm from Abbotsford, British Columbia, by Sue Smith, and Clock Tower Farm is one of the top breeders in Canada. The original breeding began with the bloodlines of Orange Spring Farm. Also, the farm was one of the uh, the owners of the last stallion by the famous Romer. His name was Odyssey, out of Consul. <clears throat> and um, today, Serafina, she's only four years old. She's very green. She just got broke um, about three months ago. She's been out of the farm once, maybe twice. Not at this particular location. I don't think she's ever seen jumps before. And I think she's taking it really well. She's looking around. Usually the routine at home is that I lunge her first, very short, like 10 minutes. And then I get on her. And today, for the first time, I did not lunge her, I just got on her. <clears throat> Which I'm happy that she, to see that she's just really calm and she's taking it all in and reassuring herself which is very nice. I'm happy to see that she just is not bothered by all these jumps. I don't think she's ever seen jumps before. She's by Sunny Boy out of a mare called Kismet owned by Clock Tower Farm. Kismet is out of Winston. And Sonny Boy, well, he's so famous today. If you want to know more about him, you can look it up on the internet. He's one of the most famous stallions that all horse people have had the pleasure to, to know. So what I would be happy today is that I just get Serafina going <coughs> in a relaxed, rhythmic, rhythmic way. I don't want to ride her at all with a short rein, unless I have to, but she seems very quiet. Basically, I just want her to be rhythmic, drop her neck down, connect to the bit, be calm and give herself a chance to think about things and uh, try to get just her down with my outside rain, tickle the inside rain there, and soft there. Of course to be fair to her, you know, there's a lot for her to look at. We just got here about, oh, yeah, she decided that this is something. No problem. She probably heard something. Yeah. When little things like that happen, I try not to make a big thing out of it. And if I don't make a big thing out of it, she just sort of realizes that there's nothing more to be done with it, so she moves on. Just want to walk her around a little bit and get her to just feel comfortable. What's the most important thing for her right now is to simply be rhythmic, forward, chewing the bit, working through her top line. There. That's good. That's good. That's basically what we're doing. She's actually at training level. <coughs> As I said, she's only been under saddle for like three months. She doesn't know much. She's just getting 
comfortable with the canter strike offs and with transitions, 20 meter circles, diagonal lines, quarter lines, inside track. So we've been doing all that. And uh, just very basic work. All I'm really interested in her right now is to just connect to the contact, chew the bit, drop her neck, exhale her whole body, go a little long and low. That's it. Yeah. We have two uh, Frisians in the arena today. I don't think she's ever seen a Frisian. <laughs> Young horses, you know, some, I used to, I remember once I used to ride this very young horse and uh, for the first time I was in this arena <laughs> and as soon as this little guy saw the Frisian, he just galloped right out of the ring. So, yeah, she's thinking, I can see her eye is good, her ears, that's good. Try a little rising trot here. Okay. I like riding them with a the long rein. Warm them up, yeah. I like the I like that. Usually she's been ridden in a 20 by 60 indoor arena. So this undisciplined type of direction, in other words, unpredictable, is good. She doesn't know. And she's looking, of course, but I try to keep her down and try her to concentrate on her work. down, keep the contact soft. Bend her a little bit to the inside, soften the inside rein, connect with my outside, yeah. Also like to bend them a little bit to the outside, inside leg, inside rein, soft, yeah. The whole idea is to get them relaxed and forward and working through the body, through the top line, through my body, through my elbows, through my hands, through the reins, right to the bit. And I, if I can feel her chewing the bit would be just perfect for me. <sighs> yeah. Good boy. Ah. 
Ah, good girl, Serafina. When I feel like she's slowing down from the rhythm, I try just with my upper calf to just encourage her a little bit from forward. for her to get to be more familiar with the outside rain. Half holes are slowly coming in. Of course, the more forward I can have her, the more effective my half holds can become. Yeah. She's looking at the door, no problem. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Woo -hoo. Okay. Okay, this. No problem. No problem. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Keep on this rain for a few more times. Bend. If I could have paid a little bit more attention to me, I bend her to the inside, put my inside leg on. Please don't move so much. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There. I want her to lengthen her neck and I want her to exhale. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Reminder of the aids that we learned back at home so she can be familiar with my Looks again. Inside leg, inside leg. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Inside leg now to the outside wing. Great opportunity. Down the track. Get her a little bit more. Forward. She's got a thing there's a child at the door, so she's just... Yeah. 
Ah, good girl, Serafina. Good girl, Serafina. Go through these line of fences here. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. It's okay. Yeah. This is her more difficult side. She is convinced that this side here is difficult. So I just want to shorten my rein a little bit and slow her down a little bit. Bend her a little bit to the inside, inside leg. Tickle the inside rein, keep it soft. Yeah. It's okay, come. Yeah, she's a little nervous. Of course, a four-year-old, never been away from home like this. All this excitement, fences, horses. Yeah, you know, I don't, at this point here, you know, I can get after her, yeah. Yeah. Just put a little bit more. Ooh. Ooh. I'll just shorten my rein a little bit here. Still don't want to influence the neck to come back. I want the neck to go down. And I want her from the wither to work through the top line. Uh, inside leg here. Yeah. Ah, no, Serafina. No. Come on. Come. I know she's not doing it for mischievousness. She just needs confidence. And I don't think getting after her very severely at this point is a benefit to her or to me or to the ride. So I just keep a little more patient. Calm her down on the crest. Yeah. And of course, the more relaxed she gets on this rein, the more I want to lengthen my rein. And this time, I'm not going to let her back off. No. Yeah. We don't want that to be a habit. Okay. It's just a dog's child moving up and down the aisles. Yeah. So, what we can do now is just stay in this part of the arena a little bit more. There, I put a little bit of spur on. Hey, da, 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 da. yeah, good girl. Uh, there. Always thinking of my basics, heels down, toes in, heels out. The basics is the only thing that keeps us effective and positive.
Are the boots okay? Are the boots okay? Yeah. So let's just get out of this rain right now. Go back the opposite way. Excuse me. Hello. Heads up. Yeah. That's it. Never losing contact with the whole philosophy of warming up long and low, forward, allowing the horse to exhale. Please be quiet, okay? Yeah, that's good there with her neck. Yeah, good girl, Sarah. Always have that inside rein connected, but never backward. Just for her to know the comfort of the inside rein being there without bothering her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. Girl, Sarah. Yeah. Give her a little walk. Get herself together. Forget about everything. Yeah. That's good. A little inside. There. Yeah. When she looks left and right, I just try to collect, correct her with my evenness of my reins so that she can just think forward, look forward, feel forward, move forward, not left and right. Yeah. And because we're getting closer and closer to the sitting trot, I like to do the transitions a little bit sitting. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Ooh. That's it. Want her to go through her back. I mean, this is what the whole thing is about at this stage. Getting a horse to go through the back, through the top line, from the withers, the neck, to drop, connect with the bit. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. That's good, girl. That's good. There, she's getting relaxed now. Yeah, I would even even like more. Yeah, all the way down. Even that point there that she was. Yeah, that's it. Ooh. And a little bit more. There you go. Good girl. There you go. Woo. That's really good there with your seat. Keep her right close to the rail. Fall up her feet. Go all the way around again. And the left side rail. 
much better now. I can feel her relaxation through the back, through my saddle. Very important not to have big, big fat padding under the saddle because what that does a lot is that it takes the feeling away from the seat. You need padding, but only so much that it doesn't disturb your feeling. We'll just do the other side right now, which is a little bit the more difficult side, and try to get that long and low and happy effect. Bend her to the outside a little bit, yeah. Ah, good girl. That's okay. That's all right. From the side leg to the outside rein, another great opportunity. This is the side that I really have to use my inside leg to my outside rein. As you see now, she's lost control. Just shorten my rein just a little bit and then gradually work the neck down, the movement up. Yeah. Ah. Again, inside leg, inside leg. Inside leg, and yeah. that's bender to the inside. Okay, yeah. Yeah. open up the trot a little bit here, just ride a little bit more. Yeah. There you go. That's good. Well, I think we're, I hope anyway, that we're on the right direction. We mustn't forget that this is a newly broke horse. Uh, I've ridden her something like 30 times now. And uh, at first it was very not so pretty, but she's a fast learner. She's an extremely, extremely talented horse, very rideable. So all this has made uh, our progress much faster than some other horses that need more time. Horses are like children at school, in elementary school. You get good students, you get bad students, you get students that learn very quickly, you get students that need a little bit more time, you get students that don't pay attention so easily. Same thing with horses. She's like in ele elementary school, and she's like, in my opinion, grade three. But, you know, as we were young in elementary school and we learned our additions and subtractions and our arithmetic, which is the basics, of our whole life basically, so is it with horses. This is the time that they have to learn to go long and low, forward, calm, and that's all we want right now. We don't want any more than that. I think that anything more than that destroys a horse at this stage. It's no different than a child in elementary school who's learning to add and subtract and all of a sudden you throw geometry to them not very good so let's just go back here find the right moment to go into a little canter yeah yeah a little bit to the outside, yeah. Bend her a little bit to the inside. No, okay, that was my mistake. She thought I wanted to turn 
is getting more and more attentive. Inside leg, outside leg, I always try to remind myself never to cross my hand over the wither, which, you know, love to just even let her all the way down to the buckle if I can uh -huh. yeah right there right there right there okay yeah look at that that's it good girl good girl and then we just see that horse coming no problem Okay, so, I don't want to, you know, just take it easy and not make a big thing out of anything and get her to enjoy this ride. I don't want any stress whatsoever. Now we start doing a little bit more turns and circles, get her to get a little bit more familiar with the inside of the arena. Yeah. It's also a great way for me to practice the outside rain and get her to really depend on the outside rain for turns. I want a little bit more. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's good. A little bit more. Up, come on. so important for these young horses to have a pleasant experience. Yeah. Okay, let's try this. Come on. Come on. Do just go down the track. Bender, bender, bender. Inside. Uh, okay, good. I'll let her think that I wanted that, but that's okay. Good. We've only been working the canter for about a month. The counter used to be a big problem for her. And a little bit more. Yeah, back. Keep that outside leg back so she knows that she has to keep cantering no matter what. It's good. Back, back, ah. keep my seat soft. I'd rather ride her with as long rain as possible, in my opinion. I can always shorten, but it's always hard to let that. And now, trot. Good girl. I like to ride my young horses very long, very low. And that doesn't mean that they can't be collected. Uh, 
Yeah. So now this is the more difficult rain. So give her a little bit of walk here. She's a little bit more stiff on the right, as all horses are, one side to the other. I think humans too, that's why, in my opinion, you know, we're left-handed, we're right-handed. We do some things better on one side than the other. And I think horses are the same. So we have to take this into consideration and help them with this. Yeah. Bend her a little bit to the inside and keep her straight. Yeah, that's a little better. The straightness thing is something that I do pay attention to at this point, but I don't, I'm not a fanatic about it. I just want her to go forward, to be soft, to be comfortable, to exhale. And slowly as she gets more to the inside rein, by bending into it, then slowly I can move the shoulder in front. Yeah, she's such a good girl. I've ridden a lot of horses, but this one is really one of my favorites. She is really spectacular. So let's try that again. A little bit in. There, get her straight. There we go. Yeah. Ah, nice soft transition. Yeah, good girl. That's good. Good girl. Good girl. Ah, there. I'd like to get her neck even long here, if I can. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'll pretend that I wanted that, which I didn't, but I'm not going to make a big thing out of it. And I think that's the best way to handle it. Good. Just go to the other side and not change direction. She knew, she knew she made the mistake, so no problem. Uh, a little bit faster, forward, that's what the whole thing is. They like, they have fun when they're going forward. Good girl. Forward, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ooh. Good girl. Sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. Thank you. Yeah, now, what would be nice. I'm just taking advantage of the energy she's got because she's in a new environment. 
she's very conscious about everything so I'm taking advantage of this energy and trying to do some work what I'd like to do right now is do some more transitions trot walk trot walk canter trot oh she decided something else is not nice yeah See, change direction and go back to it. She might forget about it. That's the funny thing with horses. They see something, they get spooky, and then when they change another direction and you take them back to it, they can't remember. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, so let's just try some nice transitions. Halt. Oh, oh, yeah. Just let her stand there for a second. Oh, good. And back. And good. Okay. And whoa. Yeah. More. Yeah, I like the way she's reaching out for the bit right now. I hope you can see it, because I can feel it. Of course, she's not very steady in the contact, but that's understandable. Sitting trot is coming out. Have to be sure, make sure that in those downward transitions that she doesn't dive down to the bit. So I gotta up hold her, half hold her up a little bit more. Try that right now. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Yeah, just those last steps. Try, try to avoid those last few steps from being downward, but being upward. Carrying. A bit more. Yeah. yeah. Try a counter. I have to be more patient with those tram counter transitions because it's all new to her. Ooh, trot. Go through those fences, yeah, in between my legs, in between my hands. Yeah, bend her to the inside. And yeah, good girl. And forward with my seat. And bring her back. Bring her back. Half hold, upper body. Upper body, half hold, all the way to the trot. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, my mistake. Good. Get her to bend. Yeah, we sort of lost each other. 
in the inside vein there. Yeah. And a little bit forward with the seat. Yeah, she's reacting good to that. Back. a little bit of a two-point contact. Good, she made a good effort there to keep that canter. I applied my upside leg a little bit more securely. never done so much canter and trot okay yeah 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 no no yeah that's good Let her go down. Yeah. yeah. A little bit more. Come. That's what I want. I'm going to finish now, of course, but I want to finish long and low, long reins, forward. That's good for a four-year-old under saddle, three months. I couldn't hope for anything better. Yeah. yeah. We'll just leave it at that. I couldn't have asked for anything more. She did her best. She took the environment really well. All those little things that happen, they're nothing. They're normal. Not make a big thing out of it not to start panicking so this just four she just got to be four she's like just in her fourth year so she's got another year to go until she's five in the meantime we'll just be working through the uh, levels she's never been to a horse show never been to a schooling show and this is one of her first little field trips so, Serafina is such a good girl, such a good girl. That's it.